Welcome to the Ball Alert Show podcast, available everywhere you get your podcast. I go by the name of Ferrari Simmons. Hey, young boy, it's your bestie, Sue Solo. You know, BT, I'm in the building. OCT, what that? It's hot. We got to definitely do some clips of OCT saying, that. what that? What that? What that? Hey, we got to bring the energy, baby. Hey, <laughs> it's uh, Friday. Yeah. Just in case you missed it. Now, everybody get out and vote, please. Early voting uh, ends Friday, November 4th. Uh, November, today. F- November, yeah, today. Uh, t- November 5th is my son's birthday. He's turning the big 11. Hey, He's getting his phone. Yeah. He's getting Not his phone. a phone. Yeah, he's getting a phone. Uh-oh. I don't know if I like that. I don't, I don't like that. I, I already programmed. He actually got his phone. I had the phone. He didn't get it yet. <sighs> I have y'all numbers in there. I'm okay oh. with that. I just... It's we don't control it. We don't so control it. It is. It is. Phone. It is. With yes. all it the is. stuff that's Hell going on, you got yeah. mass and, shootings in in schools and, and best stuff believe like I that. got that location already set. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so please get out and vote. Uh, if you didn't make it out to early vote, please make sure you vote on your vote on the voting day. Uh, everyone's still reacting to the death of takeoff. One third of the Migos, quite arguably, shoot the best third of the Migos when we're talking about lyrically. Legendary um, versus take off. Legendary, mm-hmm. super consistent, um, humble, quiet, stayed to himself. Like he was the most unproblematic person quiet. ever to exist in hip hop, yeah. so it seems, um, in present day. And a lot of people are reacting. I mean, Cardi B retweeted an account of where um, they. All the Migos, all three of them at the time, were doing an interview and Offset was saying that he's grateful for his brothers, his two brothers. They're all I know. I love them. I wouldn't be here without them. Yes. And uh, Cardi B retweeted that. I thought that was really dope. But there are so many other people that are speaking out. Oh, yeah. Jay Coach Prince, K. Coach Drake. K. Drake. Uh, yeah. P. Mm-hmm. Um, Is it Metro Drake? Boomin that shared a screenshot yeah. of yes. a text mm-hmm. that Takeoff sent him when his mother passed? Yeah. It was really nice, actually. Um, you know, Takeoff was just saying that he didn't have the words to heal him. And, you know, he was just sending him love and he sent him a Bible verse. And mm-hmm. I just thought it... it that made me feel good to know that that you know takeoff is a, a god fearing man that that made me feel really good um i was there in the beginning of very very beginning of takeoff with amigo's career uh offset was locked up so i got to see quavo and takeoff at a very young age um up at the radio station i remember they couldn't even do drops that well um so just heartbroken to see this happen and, and, and of course like everyone says the same thing takeoff doesn't do anything he doesn't get into any trouble he doesn't like even really going out and being around large groups of people is that's not his thing he's so quiet and um he just didn't deserve that yeah and it's really sad, no one man. deserves that yeah right. nobody Let's say that nobody deserves you know to have their life taken like that and you know the thing that I, I really hate about the internet is is now we're seeing people life get taken away and it's all on social media and, mm-hmm. and you know any if you know anything about the internet you know that stuff never goes away mm-hmm. so that stuff you know this man family has to see stuff like that on the internet so it's like man i just really wish that people would just stop recording and you know call and get some help man it's so mean it's i still haven't watched the video but i, I mean won't. it's so I many different to. video footages that it's like right. really sad it's like yeah. there's bullet like there, there's there's gunshots going off and people are recording think yeah. about that people are recording while gunshots are going off yeah, yeah. and it's desensitizing everybody yeah it's just making you i mean you see the whole we're thing there. you're seeing about we like, already desensitized. it's like, we, it's like yeah we're already desensitized and um i'm sorry sue you're no. gonna say something i was gonna say i was djing um this past tuesday and i'm literally djing songs with people that okay. are are not here mm. And there are songs where they're, they have songs together mm. and they're not here. It's crazy. I think what, another thing about this, I mean, honestly, you know, according to reports, obviously we all don't know everything, but according to reports, um, you know, Takeoff was not involved in any type of altercation. Never he did not anyone. have a, a exchange of words with anybody. It, it's been reported that he actually heard the commotion, stood up, and then was hit by one of the bullets. Literally never saw it coming. Um, so I think it, it's a real eye opener that not only do you have to watch your own surroundings, but you got to make sure that you understand that the people around you are affected as well. Like yeah. this is no one's responsibility but the shooter, right? This is not Quavo's fault. This is not their securities. This is no one's fault outside of the shooter, period. But we really have to consider like, the scenarios that we're putting the people we love in as well it might have been an argument between two people 
but you also had your mans with you and you don't know what these other people are capable of so we need to start thinking differently moving differently i get it you want to have fun you want to do things that you grew up doing but sometimes you just got to stay away from certain people especially when you elevate yeah all right moving right along nick cannon announces his 12th child Woo! one two uh with Alyssa scott and of course uh this is the uh woman that he had a kid with previously that passed mm-hmm. away correct mm-hmm. yeah it was a son named zen mm-hmm. um that passed away so um they this are, is their miracle baby this is their miracle baby mm-hmm. and he's in um, the double digits now yeah he's man, in double digits Nick Cannon, i mean is he gonna stop that man, having time management has to be impeccable I wonder, like, how does this work out? Is it like oh, Nick Cannon has a manager that says, all right, man, you got to go, you know, get right. her pregnant uh, at 9 p.m. She and then, ovulates this week. Yeah, like, <laughs> but like bro, that's, this is the question I have to ask all y'all, and I want y'all answers, please. What is he saying to everyone to to get them to agree the to truth. have a baby with them? The truth. He's, He's telling, telling the, truth. the truth, and they're making a decision based on the truth. What is he saying? He Give me an example. Nick Cannon, what are you saying? Well, he said that a lot of them are his friends. And the thing is, because everybody saw I was so down, I got depressed, like with the loss of my son and stuff. So, mm-hmm. so everybody's like, let me just give him a little vagina. Right. And that's no, no, I, I know what makes him feel better. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what, and yeah. I, I fell victim to it because I was in a week, say, so December, especially right <laughs> during, victim. right before Christmas, I started fucking like crazy. You gotta be friends though. Okay. Right? You were friends. You 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 were, you were friends with your wife before y'all had children. Yeah. Right. You gotta be friends. But it's like, man, that's a lot of friends. Okay. I mean, listen. Nick Cannon, boy, you cold blooded. Man, nah. Nick Cannon is there for swimming lessons. He's damn cooking. That's what I'm saying. Like, vacations. Yo, this time management. Is like, everybody close in proximity? Present father. They're probably all in L.A. No, I don't think they're all in L.A. You don't think so? Because that's no. a motherfucker. That's a, that's a long trip if you got to go to I Miami. I think the only kids that's not in L.A. is Mariah kids. I think Mariah, well, she lived in Atlanta until they broke in a house. So she done moved right. out. Well, she be all over because she be touring and she stuff. She has houses right. everywhere. It's, it's, her, it's her season. It's Christmas time. So it's definitely her season. She about to rag it, <laughs> rag it up. Period. That's rag so funny. Down. She makes money every year and she yeah. doesn't have to do anything. No. Because of that song, This, this one Christmas. Because one thing a lot of artists don't have is they publishing. Fact. And she got it all. Mm-hmm. You know Bobby Smart. Blue Bay about to make some money too. <laughs> all right, thinking of a one. All right, What's so, his name? What's his name? Bobby Blue Bay. <laughs> Thank you, thank, thank you for that, BT. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Kyrie Irving has been under fire after posting a link on social media to a movie and book that contains anti-Semitic tropes. Yeah, so now you have uh, the commissioner uh, Adam Silver saying that he wants more from Kyrie. He don't want just money. He wants he wants an apology. So what's wrong with him sharing a link to a documentary that already exists that he did not create? Well, the documentary is talking about like the kind of the same stuff that Kanye is talking about, mm. which is really hurtful to you know the Jewish, Jewish community. Right. Okay, got it. Okay. The NBA is a brand. Mm-hmm. And if you are working for the NBA, making millions and what would the Rock say? And millions of dollars. And you got a lot of fans, and you have, and it's a, people don't understand the NBA p- players' followers are kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you go to these games, the people that is going crazy over NBA players' kids. So it's like, right. man, you, you can't be like just doing whatever, especially exactly. when you got 20 million followers on Instagram. I mean, right. I definitely don't support hate speech of any kind. Um, I just also I'm trying to find where that line is between, mm-hmm. you know, people being allowed to feel and think and share what they want to share as individuals and then. Oh, With the opinions of many in, in this society this now, everything much. has to be articulated correctly, and sometimes we don't. Mm. Well, I think the NBA does a great job how they condone, you know, a lot of race racism that goes on with these, you mm. know, these owners. You know what I mean? They're getting punished. Oh, don't condone, you mean? Don't condone, right. Don't yeah, condone. yeah, they don't yeah. condone. So you look at somebody like Kyrie Irving, it's like, bro, you got a $200 million contract. Right. You don't, like, you probably shouldn't be posting stuff like that. Period. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, you need to be sensitive does, how you post. But why does the money that these corporations yeah. give you dictate what you're allowed to talk about? Like, like you see what well, I'm saying? Well, I would saying? say the fan that, base. That's I would almost say saying, like, shut up and dribble. It's like having a job and you know you got protocol rules and stuff like that. You can't say certain things. You can't do certain things. Man, they watch black people are tired, okay? Black people are tired. It don't if matter you, what profession you have, what job, too, because you're black, you're just automatically expected to shut the fuck up. And we're at a point where we are tired. We're but tired. If you cash in the checks, then you know you gotta got you gotta comply. Cause if if you if you get a money back or whatever, say I don't need X Y Z, then you free you free anyway. 
And I mm. think a lot of times, like, what's going on with Kyrie is Kyrie is very seem, seems like he's problematic. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. every time you look up, it's always bad stuff. Like, he missing the games because he wanted he doesn't want to take the uh, mm. vaccination. You know, uh, he's he's putting all his beliefs out on people and stuff there like that. There are millions of people that didn't want to take the vaccination and didn't. That is true. So what's the difference between him choosing, what? having the same, you know, making the same decision for himself as other people did for themselves? There's no difference. The only difference is he's a black man with a platform and influence and they don't like that like that's a problem i i'm afraid of of me as a black woman like agreeing with all this stuff like i think that's fucked up i don't care that he has a 200 million dollar contract i don't care that it's the nba i don't care i care that he's a human being who lives just like the rest of us who bleeds just like the rest of us and he has an opinion it's i i, I don't i just yeah, he had, I don't want to be quick to be like, yeah, you mm-hmm. getting paid, shut up. I, I don't want, I, I, I don't. No, no, no. That. So he, and I don't want to go all the way left on the convo, but he had, it was a requirement that if they want, if they had to play in New York for the New York Nets, not uh, the Brooklyn Nets, yeah. mm-hmm. um, he had to be vaccinated. No, I get it. He chose not to, which was fine. They said it was and fine. And he waited. And he waited. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they allowed it at the end. But, you know, in the beginning, uh, supposedly, allegedly, he said that he was going to do it and then he didn't and then they missed games but then which then led to James Harden leaving because he was like oh hey we said we was going to do this now you're not playing mm-hmm. now that's affecting our record I want to get traded he went to the 76ers then uh, Simmons came so it was kind of like damn Kyrie this is all your fault yep. <laughs> so you know that's so that's no, I get that. It's your choice in, in in life in general. You got free will. Shit, we had hella. No, that you, there's consequences to your actions. Remember, we had a we had a whole episode about the vaccination. Remember, yeah, I said man. I was gonna take you. I was like, my arms yep. gonna fall off. My arms ain't fall off, Sue. Well, they sitting here talking about those vaccinations are directly linked to fucking uh, oh, okay. heart ar- heart attacks okay. and all types okay. of stuff. Okay. That vaccine came have... out too damn quick. I'm... Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, and I hope that doesn't I'm happen cool. to me. They don't have a lot of cure. For okay, of speaking of the Brooklyn Nets, the coach who cheated on. Nia Long uh, is wow. now uh, finalizing a deal. What a segue! To be the Brooklyn Nets head coach. What do you guys think of that? He's is Nia is Nia, is Nia leaving Boston to come to Brooklyn, guys? Nah, he probably gonna tell. She's her. still there. She, she been oh, she Boston. Now she left. Oh, man, I, thought, she, I thought they was working it out. I don't know. Man, she Allegedly, know that man know. smashing, smashing <laughs> the assistant, squishing and gushing, squishing and gushing, squishing and gushing. She know what's going on. Ume Macaroni his, sound. Come on. <laughs> Ume is his name, right? Adonka. U, Adonka. Ume Adonka. Well, he about to go in New York. Adonka. And I'm going to tell you Adonka. something about New York. What? There's a lot of fine women in it New York. There's a lot of beautiful They're aggressive up women. there, though. They tall as shit, too. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. Right. <laughs> Time for well, the curveball question. Do y'all think show. that's a good uh, move? Hell he's a yeah. great coach. Hell yeah. Personal life aside, he's a great coach. I, I think agree. that goes to show, like, no one should get fired for adultery in 2022. But what? One more question, y'all think they're gonna make the playoffs if he becomes a coach? Definitely. Yeah. Okay, so the Nets got a chance. Nobody thought Definitely. Boston was gonna go to the finals, and they went to the finals with him. One year of coaching. Okay. He's really good. So you know, no, he's good the black they- man cheated on his black girl, and we care so much about cheating in the NBA. Shut the fuck up. No, you don't. <laughs> No, you don't. <laughs> NBA all of y'all been cheating on y'all partners. All of y'all. All of well, y'all. That, that, I feel all like y'all. that was a, 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 a saving grace for New York because they need a chip. Like, when the last ASAP. time they won? Hey, you know what's funny? Can't even tell you. Uh, the bye New bye York Boston. Giants was wait, the last team to win. Steve won. Nash, did you see his face the last game they and he played? he quit, by the way. No, he didn't. They, he, they, they fired, fired him. him. Sorry. Oh, Why do you think he was so mad right. they was losing? Did you not see his eyes? I thought he was going to have a heart attack. Yeah. His eyes was like this. One I of the said, best that's a sign ever. that you know your ass is getting fired. <laughs> He's if, if, we, if we lose this game, you're getting fired. And Kyrie <laughs> didn't like him either because Kyrie Irving was doing his own practices outside of the, you know what, never mind. It's time for the curveball question of the day, OCT. <laughs> All right, y'all. For this curveball, I just want a straight reaction. I'm going right. to show y'all a video, oh, and then shit. I just want y'all reactions, okay? So are you fucking your baby daddy like Raw Dog? For sure. And do you think that, I mean, if Krishan was allegedly pregnant, that means he's probably fucking her raw dog too, right? I mean, I can only speak on my shit. I'm saying allegedly. Allegedly. I'm I'm sure. I'm sure. So you don't ever be scared for your vagina? I mean, I ain't tripping. If something was happening to me, I would know. Okay. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever they do is what they do. Right. But like, 
have you ever seen that little thing on Instagram where they stick the cucumber in the dirty water and then they put it back in the clean water? Right. The, I mean, I'm good. I don't know. Like, that's your body. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I'm not even, I'm not. Like, I, I think real. that everyone's thinking like, oh, he over, we doing it every day or something. Like, it's not consistent. So Oh, it's if, just every blue moon. Yeah, when, I, when I'm feeling like it. Like, if, you know. If that's what it is like so they did come on your time not on his time for sure well it seems like they have a pretty healthy relationship what happens unprotected in those streets more power to y'all babies stds whatever go ahead have fun that's all i got to fucking say uh, he, 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 that he, sounds dangerous he knows how to pick them <laughs> he know how to pick them listen he know how to pick the right ones to, to do what he need them to do she said as long as she feels fine that's fucked up i just want to encourage everybody to go get tested hey man whatever floats her boat if you're gonna have multiple partners like y'all need to be serious about protection you need maybe, to be serious about protection anyway but especially if you are having sister, multiple partners sister wives that looks like a sister wife thing she just probably didn't you know you gotta everybody gotta be in agreement of it to be a sister wife i think they yeah. might be in agreement no 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 no, no they're not it might not be publicly it might not be no i think, no, I think the not. baby mama understands what's going on mm -hmm. but i don't think christina rock what's her name Chris Chris Sean. Chris Sean. Oh. That, girl, that boy said christina rock <laughs> <laughs> chris rock sister <laughs> Chris Sean, I think wants to be in an exclusive relationship with Blueface. I think that's what she really wants. I, mean, she I think no that's, I think that's why she calls the other girls out, though. That's exactly why she's like, "Oh, you, he was in a bed with such and such," and that's why it hurts her so bad. She wants an exclusive relationship. Yeah, she needs to focus on happen. being an MMA fighter. She needs. <laughs> <laughs> the way she be God. whooping his ass. She needs. She needs to be. She needs to focus on some other stuff. I, I just. Yeah, I definitely want her to focus on herself. It's just a severity she in likes that the video. The, the carelessness of it. Like, the, nah, yeah, it's cool. that's what I mean. I'm, I'm straight. From the baby mama. Maybe it makes it more more aggressive when when they're doing it. When she gave her the cucumber example, and she was like, "Mm hmm, okay, I'm good. Uh, all right." Right. I'm telling y'all, they have an agreement, y'all. Who has she, an AKA agreement? was trying to tell her to Blue, mind your business. I was going to say Bluetooth. Blueface has, has an agreement, agreement with who? Uh, the baby mama Krishan. or with Krishan? I think this is, man. Listen, man, you got to let people live their life how they want to live it because at yeah, the end right. of the day, she told, she really what she was trying to say is, mind your motherfucking business, bitch. My, my advice would be to find love for yourself, sis. I want you to love yourself. That's all I got. I ain't got no advice. <laughs> Your business. I'm out of my motherfucking business. It's love versus money on the Baller Alert Show. Back with more of the Baller Alert Show. We got love versus money. Come on, oh. we ready. Let's do it. Let's oh, do it. Let me know if the man and the woman are there for love or is it just business? Come on. Mm. All right. Who's today's couple? Today we have Cher and Amber Rose's ex. Her youngest son's father, A.E. First of all, who is Cher? What? Do you believe in life after love? Man, shout out to A.E., man. What A.E. out here pimping. Now, Shay, Cher is 76. God damn. She I, old. That thing still get wet at 76? Are, are, are I'm you pretty still sure. I'm pretty sure the sprinkler system still works. Oh, shit. What's it? Why not? <laughs> I think I think Is he, it love or money? I think it's for the money. For who on who? He part? looked too damn happy to be hitting that. <laughs> nigga, she buy, hey, she buy him PlayStation 5s, everything. Boy, Cars. she buy him Bentley's. What you talking about? Cars. Cars. Now you know this is the same guy who was in trouble with Amber Rose prior uh, for cheating on her. Yes, yeah, so I remember, all those remember women. I think she did a post about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, she did a big post and they got back together. Alright, so what you what, what do you what you got? I mean, come on, come on. Come on, bruh. You think he'll ever cheat on her? Cher? Oh, Cher? Bruh, add the sound bite, bruh. He cheating on Cher right now. <laughs> Yo, listen, first of all, you can tell it's for the money because Actually, I, I seen a picture and he looks really happy. She do too, but I mean, she, she, he probably knocking it back. You know I what think I'm saying? You, so, so it's for what? For what? It's What'd for you, the money. For the money for both? Yeah, hell yeah. What, for, for, for her Cher? too? Yeah. No, no. Oh, no. She probably got the bag. Probably. She probably just. Probably. He don't know who Cher is. That, that's that's. It's okay. What about Cher? So Cher is for love. I would say Cher is for love. A E is for the money. Hmm. I don't blame him. You know what I'm saying? I don't You'll blame be with him. Cher. I'm just saying, LA is a weird place. Would you Would you be with Cher? <laughs> LA is expensive. LA is a fucking weird, expensive place to live. Hey man, would you be with Cher? Answer the damn question. Would I be with Cher? Yeah. Shit depend on how my coins look and shit. Sometimes you gotta do look some strange for a little piece right of Right now, right now. <laughs> nah, I'm straight. 
<laughs> off, off screen. You going next to you want me go? <laughs> uh, I think it's for the spending of the money for Cher. I think Cher is lonely, mm. and I think she needs a companion, mm. a little boy toy. So she's paying this young man. Wow. <laughs> and taking care of this young man. He's a prostitute. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> and I think <laughs> this is an agreement. We are witnessing an agreement. That's why he is skipping to all her beats. <laughs> I don't even think he hitting that. He maybe just be maybe oh, yeah. oh, oh. He might be licking on the areolas a oh, little bit. No, nah, he definitely but I don't hitting think that. He, he hitting that. He box. hitting that. He smashed oh, that. What? Nah. Boy, she is not I, I lied. I lied. I don't think the sprinkler system works. I don't think <laughs> it don't it don't gotta work. There's there's tools and when the centipede is hot, it don't gotta oh work. Oh my god! Message. It is time for baller mail. Dear ball alert. Yes. My man is in jail for PPP fraud. It's been three months and I am really horny and I miss him. Hmm. I am starting to see. Should I wait six more months until he gets out or should I get me a sneaky link? Them toys ain't toying like the real thing. What do you guys think? Well, do you, you do the crime, you got to do the time. And everybody in prison know that somebody is smashing a girl. Mm. I'm just saying, you, shit. You a lot know. of women remain faithful. A lot of women remain Amaretta, faithful. Amaretta's dude is facing, is has 20 years in jail mm-hmm. and she has her his tattoos everywhere. His name tatted everywhere. His, all yeah, of her with his name and mm-hmm. she has not slept with anybody. She's mm-hmm. waiting on him. We need to get her up here. I'm ready. You need to come on. The yeah, show. That, that woman is getting. Should she wait six more months or should she go ahead and get a side boo? He watched the movie. I would say she classic. should wait six yeah, more months. Um, I agree with Sue. She probably need to get some more toys mm-hmm. um, that could please her a little, a little bit better. You know, might spend a little bit more money on the toys that you're trying to get. You know what I'm saying? If you waited that long. What's six more months? I think she already gone, y'all. Damn. I think she writing this because she feel guilty. <laughs> I feel like she probably done let somebody close by she, hit that. She wants to hear someone tell her it's okay. I'm going to be the so one to tell you, tell you it's okay, girl. He probably going to come back looking for you. <laughs> no, they're in a relationship, they're guys. They're together. You just she, said she probably gone. She said my well, man is in jail for PPP fraud. I said she probably gone. She probably, she probably let somebody hit that already. Damn, you think she going to tell him? No, no. Yeah, don't tell him, baby. No, no, no. Do not tell this man. No, no. Well, he gonna get out. He gonna have... get out them prison gates. Yeah, and he might turn into Kevin. I mean, said, for her to say <laughs> that she might need to get a sneaky link, I'm sure she's not gonna tell him. But don't put it on. Don't go too crazy or sneaky link because they gonna want to stay around. Because when Big Dog come out of jail. Sneaky Link probably gonna want yeah, to still be. There needs to be a cutoff date. This needs to be link. the day of his don't do release. It. Just don't do it. It's the do day it. we never talk again. Don't don't do it. Don't that do Sneaky it. Link better be regular, cause if he better, then the man that's just locked up right now, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs>